Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. First of all, thanks to so many of you who've left comments on um, my recent videos. Well, really for some time and I do try to answer uh, the comments in print, although it sometimes takes me a few days till I get back to people. But I do appreciate the positive interaction, uh, lovely comments from many people who are so kind. And I was thinking this week, um, you know, it's been a week with the US presidential election and um, arguments about Brexit and so forth, when um, there's been a lot about how unpleasant people have been to each other on social media. And uh, I was reflecting, actually, I think I've had maybe one negative comment on my YouTube channel in all the time I've been posting my um, inept little videos. And uh, I'm really grateful for the positivity that um, so many people have shown. Um, it's really lovely. So thanks for that. Now today I thought I would show you because they're fast running out in the UK um, or at least the products I've picked from the Nutcracker Sweets um, Mac Christmas Holiday Collection which is a huge collection and there is loads of it still available but a few of the items seem to be selling out really really quickly. Um, so I thought I would talk about my picks today um, in case some of you are still dithering. I don't buy a lot of Mac these days, um, not because I've got anything against the brand. I do think as a middle of the road brand, they have some phenomenal products. And you have heard me recently talking about how I think strobe cream, for example, which they've just relaunched, by the way, in a number of different um, finishes. Uh, I think it's as good as the Estee Lauder Victoria Beckham Morning Aura uh, and a lot more expensive products. And I think their tools and brushes are excellent value for what you get. Some of them are my favourites um, and they certainly rank very well with much more expensive brushes. Um, but I guess um, their kind of special collections, I feel, are a bit too frequent these days and that's kind of impacted on the quality. Anyway, uh, I did fall for this Christmas uh, package collection, um, Nutcracker Sweets. It's a slightly garish, but I quite like, um, pink and purple with the kind of gold braiding, um, like the epaulets and the braiding on um, the Nutcracker in a traditional version of the Nutcracker Ballet. Uh, which I think they've done quite well. I think it's probably fairly appealing packaging across the board, um, bearing in mind Max, probably younger demographic than, than I am, for example. Now, I just picked three products, and it was really two hours after, which were the two Extra Dimension Skin Finish and Extra Dimension Blush Duos, and I got both of them off the website, in fact, before they'd been released on the counters. Now, um, the lighter one is called Peach Face Compact, which is normally what I would have gone for as lighter skinned. And inside you can see really pretty um, packaging again with the engraving, embossing, um, echoing the kind of embroidery, gilt embroidery theme. Uh, a skin finish. Now, I, I do like their skin finishes. And this one, it's showing on the monitor as a lot more matte and bland. That's a bit better, isn't it? You can kind of get the shine a bit more there. Um, now, I will say this blush, which is called At Dusk, it's more like a finishing powder on me than an actual blush. Do you see how pale that is? It's pale and it's not kind of got any depth or shine to it. I mean, you can just about see it there. I mean, if you blended it out, it would really just give a slight pinkish glow rather than a, bl a blush. And um, trying it even with quite a stiff um, blush brush, uh, I haven't managed to get much coloration from it, which is a disappointment really, because I generally, I'm pretty pale. Um, the skin finish is very pretty, uh, a very glittery champagne gold, definitely giving a good strobing effect there. Um, what can I compare it to? I've pulled out my Dior 
um, Glowing Gardens skin finish from earlier this year, which I raved about. You can see much more pearly and lighter. I haven't actually tried these side by side. Yeah, you can definitely see. Um, although, to be honest, side by side, this one's definitely a bit kind of um, more mm, milky and this one's got a slight pink tinge. But a similar kind of project. And this one I definitely use as a kind of all over glowy face powder. Some people wouldn't do that, but I like to. Um, so I'm guessing I could do with this one. I haven't tried that yet. And then the one that I got that I wouldn't normally get, but I'd seen lots of reviews before this collection was released in the UK because it was after the US and there's a lot of YouTube um, reviews of these products out online, uh, American ones. They obviously send samples to a lot, a lot of YouTubers um, for marketing purposes. Now, the point of this one, which is called the Copper Face Compact, which normally I wouldn't go for, is the um, Extra Dimension Skin Finishes Whisper of Guilt, which people were very excited about. It's been released previously and sold out, and people ranted and raved about it. So I thought, there's a kind of close-up. This I must get because I didn't think I'd even swatched it or tried it before. Let's just show them together, because to be honest, I don't get that much difference. I mean, you can definitely see that the other one is paler. This is a, a, a kind of more goldy gold. But when you swatch them, there's, well, yeah, they do look pretty different, actually, don't they? What am I talking about? That one definitely looks much golder. And there you can see. Um... I'm not sure I don't prefer this this one, to be honest. Um, but I can see why people get excited about this. And it definitely um, kind of blends in for a very nice skin finish. Um, I haven't got my Victoria Beckham Modern Mercury here. Um, it's vastly superior as a highlighter powder, um, but a similar sort of colour range. So I can understand um, for MAC prices why this is a pretty popular one. And surprisingly, because this looks way too dark for me to wear as a blush, again, it's not that super pigmented. You can see it does come off a bit russety, which isn't my normal coloration, but um, it's just that bit more pigmented. It has quite a nice sheen to it, as you can see. It blends out quite nicely. Um, and so actually this is the one that I've been more successful with using as a blush. Uh, so what I would say is if you can still get your hands on this duo, I think it's the better bet, even if you're very fair. Um, I know that Tara Baby, um, who is quite fair, says that she much prefers this one. I was looking at her video review the other night, but I think she's kind of the only person I've seen who has gone for that one over this one. Um, if you're dithering and thinking about it. Um, so, yeah, Cautious, you know, they're fun collection. It's quite a nice duo to have a blush and um, a reasonably subtle, depending what you class as subtle, highlighter in one palette. The skin finishes can be used all over the face, and I do, and I think they're nice. So um, if you can get it, definitely worth it. I wanted to get one of the lipsticks, really, for the pretty packaging again, echoing the purple and pink. Um, and what did I go for? I can't even tell you. I've not got my glasses. This is bad. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to put it in the um, description box below because I literally can't read that. Possibly you can. <laughs> but it's a... Very bright sort of um, cherry pink, I'd call it. Again, it's kind of definitely matching the colour scheme. I think it's an amplified, so not quite a matte, um, but quite a strong colour. Uh, you know, matte lipsticks are matte lipsticks. Um, they're reasonably good value. I really like the packaging. I, you know, I like the shape of their um, lipstick bullets uh, and... They're pretty reliable. I tend to like their lusters better than any of the other finishes. I don't like their mattes very much. I do think, um, particularly if you've got older lips, it's worth paying more for a higher quality matte lipstick from, you know, Charlotte Tilbury or or um, Guerlain or my beloved Tom Ford. Um, but for other finishes, 
MAC is great and, you know, all the colours of the rainbow. There are loads of different lipsticks in this um, release. There are glosses, there are little brush sets, there are um, glitter powders, there are a few eyeshadows, there are a couple of blushes, although they seem to have sold out very quickly indeed. Um, loads there on the counter and they make pretty um, presents for... Um, you know, particularly goddaughters, I think, and the young ones, I would say. Um, so definitely worth a look. And I do think that the um, Copper Face Compact, if you can get it, is quite a nice addition to most people's makeup drawers, uh, unless you're really overstocked with um, skin finishes, highlighters and blushes, um, as I am. So um, I will speak to you soon. Uh, I've got quite a few palettes products to talk about sadly not the tom ford yet which has sold out but more of that um soon until then bye for now